Welcome to this briefing on a language-rich curriculum, which is one of Gillsborough Academy's Quality First Teaching priorities this year. A language-rich curriculum is important for all our students, and this is because vocabulary is tangible cultural capital, which supports the student's knowledge and understanding. Sufficient vocabulary enables higher order questioning, where students can verbalise their learning and ask questions to extend their understanding. Research by Alex Quigley asserts that genuine comprehension is secured when a reader understands 95% of the words within a text. And where literacy skills are underdeveloped, a significant barrier to learning is posed where the reader, and in our case students, cannot comprehend the words that they are reading. The example on this slide shows a piece of text with 75% of the words showing. And while 75% sounds like a significant percentage, you can see that the meaning of the text is largely obscured and hard to decipher. There has been much research into the impact of school closures on students' learning. And one piece of research found that when schools reopened in autumn 2020, some secondary school students were 1.9 months behind in reading compared to their average expected progress within a normal school year. And this widened to 2.4 months by June 2021 due to track and trace related absences and repeated school closures. Therefore, Gillsborough Academy is passionate that all our students benefit from a language rich curriculum, as this will support their progress, raise aspirations and develop resilience within their learning. Last year, we purchased a programme called Literacy Assessment Online. This programme allows us to assess students' reading and spelling ages. We are aiming to assess the students' reading ages three times a year, and this data is shared with all our staff via essentialised mark sheets and on students' special educational needs passports, where they have one. Reading age data is particularly useful for teachers to ensure the resources and text they are providing in class are accessible for all our students. This data is also used to identify students for literacy intervention, for example, small group tuition and programmes such as Fresh Start and Lexia. Importantly, by assessing the students' reading ages several times a year, we can monitor their progress and measure the impact of the interventions we put in place to support them. As an academy, we are focusing on teaching Tiers 2 and 3 vocabulary, where Tier 2 language is classed as the language of academic success. Tier 2 words are commonly presented in textbooks and exam papers, and they are typically words that students recognise but cannot always define, such as analyse. Tier 2 words often express subtle shades of meaning that require experience and understanding of root words, prefixes and suffixes, which for a student with a vocabulary gap can be extremely challenging. Tier 3 vocabulary refers to subject specific terminology. We also embed reading within our registration programme, with students completing silent reading or activities within guided reading programmes once a week. We began guided reading last academic year and we were thrilled with its success. Students read a short story together as a tutor group and then completed a range of activities to identify and define the tier two and three vocabulary within the text. At Gillsborough Academy, we promote and teach tier two and three vocabulary within each lesson. A collection of literacy teaching strategies were provided to all teaching staff, including our teaching assistant team and trainee teachers, within a booklet at the beginning of the year. Some examples of how we promote and teach these words are shown on this slide. The tier two and three vocabulary that will be covered within each lesson is shown to the students at the beginning of their class. This way they are aware of what they are going to be learning. We have found that providing this information in advance allows the students to identify key terminology throughout the lesson. Within the classroom discourse, we use different tiers of language to create exposure. For example, we use the phrase, can you distribute this please, rather than can you give this out please. We encourage students to say it again better within their written and verbal speech. We expect and encourage the students to use full sentences with precise vocabulary, rather than willy words like stuff. We deliberately explore how the same terminology may be used in different subject areas, and this can simply be with conceptual words such as however and analysis. Departments are also working on creating subject specific terminology lists to provide the students at the beginning of new modules. Ofsted states that better literacy levels improve students' self-esteem, motivation and behaviour. And this is a belief that Gillsborough Academy also advocates and we reference within our literacy policy. 
This is also evident within our Year 7 and 8 student planners, where a copy of the Academy Marking Literacy Grid is shown. This way, the students can refer to the marking grid to understand what their teacher's written feedback means. Finally, we have also purchased access to the Sora app, which provides students with access to thousands of free ebooks and audiobooks. Importantly, the app also provides a dyslexia friendly screening function to support those with dyslexia. Students can log on to Sora via the link shown and using their usual school credentials, so please do encourage your child to log on if they haven't already. Importantly, the student voice that we collated last year identified a 30% increase in the number of students who describe themselves as reading for pleasure, so we really hope to maintain this interest this year. Thank you for listening.